Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today, as you can see by the title probably, we're going to be doing something quite interesting today. So we're going to be actually checking out some of my really old systems. So this is way before I started doing YouTube, right? Like this was when I pretty much first got the game. So this is before the days of coloured objects. This is where you literally had to spawn objects and get the colour you wanted. So you wasn't able to literally just go to an object here, so like this. And you were, these options did not exist. You couldn't do any of these colour options or anything. So we can be checking out systems that I made pretty much in like Universe Sandbox Update 16. So we're now in Update 20. We're in 2020, aren't we? So, yeah, wait, let me, let me see here. We are in Update yeah, 20.6, so, or 0.2. So 20.6.2. So I think I started now for 15 or 16. So we're going to be checking out simulations I made in those old builds. And I haven't really gone back to them in ages. Like, this is... 2015 2016 these simulations are probably made so first off we are going to be checking out the pascal system so i did a video on this a very long time ago it may even be before i even um um started putting my voice in videos maybe i can't remember so this is it oh nasku or oh, nastuski is here nastuski sorry of course there's one of these here yeah so this is back in the days be before i couldn't change the colors so you know no one hate me if the colors look ugly but there wasn't an option to change them back then so here's the first system we're checking out today so let's have a look so here's our star so this is a, a 0.6 mass sun 4000 very dim star actually so i just called it star i think this was my default red dwarf star to use actually at some point or orange dwarf whatever you want to call it so this is how we look here so first is an askaski Oh, and this is a Mercury-like planet. All of our systems always have a Mercury-like planet. Just a rocky object with a hot temperature. So let's see here. It's just heating up in temperature. Let's actually and play this simulation of it. So really heating up. So this is almost as hot as Venus is now. Just doesn't have an atmosphere. There's no atmosphere here. So yeah, there's that. So let's um, see what we've got next. So next up, we've got Umpesti. So these are all of the old names here. So Umpesti is another um, rocky planet. So... Pretty much just like an Earth without atmosphere or water. 27 degrees, a little more in mass, similar radius, reflects a lot of light, a lot of iron in it, and yeah, there you go. 84 Earth similarity, not too bad, and it's at the correct temperature, it just has no atmosphere to breathe or no water, so yeah, that could be colonizable by the people who live at the next planet of Pascal. So this is the main planet of the simulation here, and I've had many, many variants of Pascal here, so... This is a green one, it looks like. Okay, so maybe I did mod this later on then. I can't remember, but I definitely remember this simulation originally started before I could mod planet objects or change objects. So this must be a new one or a newer build, actually. Oh, and there's the moon. Yeah, I did do a video on this at one point. It was my custom Earth and moon. This was These are the objects I use. So we have Pascal 2 here. How many Pascals do I have? There's like one of my favorite planet names. So I have three variants. Let me just have a look here. So there's this is this one there. So that's Pascal 2. Then I had the original. Oh, that is so old. That isn't even a modded colour. That that was a normal colour. Then we've got Pascal 3. So, yeah, these are all of the objects. Um, these are the Pascal objects. So, here's the original one. So, it does look a little green, but in reality, it's actually a very dark green. And yeah, I, I never modded this colour. The, the planet came like this. So, this was a really good spawn back in the day. Because um, it looked quite green. That's probably the closest you could get to green. And actually, it didn't look too bad. Yeah, this, this object is really, really old. 2 ATM. Yeah. Four degrees well it's obviously not in this part of this simulation but yeah and then there's pascal freeze very similar to pascal 2 just another earth-like object so yeah there is that so pretty cool stuff yeah I'm, I'm definitely gonna make a new pascal actually in the next custom objects video i may make some of my own actually so i haven't, I haven't made my own custom objects in ages since i've been doing your guys's a lot so i make an i may make a new pascal actually since yeah this has got to be in the final simulation i've got to have one of my objects and then we've got its moon of aletis I think that's how you say that. So, yeah, there is that. On oh, this Pascal, um, was this an Earth at one point? Oh, no, it wasn't. How did it get that blue trail then? Interesting. Oh, this may have been a Neptune. Wait, was this a Neptune? Maybe? Let's have a look. This may have been a Neptune. Oh, no, no, it wasn't a Neptune. No, that's a different colour. Not Uranus either. Oh, I mean, I think I made it a star and got that colour, actually. All right, there's that. Okay, next up, we've got uh, Yumpati. This is also a name um, I recognise or not. Oh, and this one's completely blacked out as well. Huh, maybe I did make this simulation when colours came out. Huh, interesting. There's definitely one here, I'm pretty sure, I didn't have colours in it. So, yeah, we've got like a blacked out object here. Very hot temperature. It's got a very heavy atmosphere, 93 ATM. It only reflects 1% of light, silica and iron shell. So, 27 Earth simulations. This is a very hot, dangerous place to be. 
um, this object here. Um, let's see what we got next. Um, Rim, Rin, Rin and So this was very old. And obviously, you still this is a random spawn. Obviously, because you still can't even get coloured gas giants yet without modding the game. So yeah, we got this one here. So Rin, Rin and Ost. So pretty cool stuff here. Little um, similar to Neptune and Uranus in size, as you can see here. So there's that. Okay, cool. Uh, next up is Rin, Rin Man. So another gas giant. This one's a lot lar or a little larger. So another random spawn, just black and white, or not black and white, blue, blue and white. Sorry. So yeah, there's that. Next up, we've got Berta. So more gas giants again, similar radius and all that. So we don't need really to check that out. And then that last up is Fekery, and this is a. Oh, I remember this. This was. I, I did like the color of this one because look how many different colors are on it. It's got yellow, white, light blue. It's got like orangey brown. It's got darker blue, and then it's got like another brown. Like this. This had so many different colors on it. Pretty cool object that is. And actually, there's probably more simulations I can salvage in my deleted items folder. Because if you delete a simulation, like this, for instance, it puts it in a um, deleted folder. So I should try and go back in there and try and find some old simulations that I deleted and are still in there. That would be quite cool to do that. Yeah, should I, should, I, um, should I do that? Should we like make a series out of checking out some of my old systems? They're quite interesting stuff here. Alright, anyways, um, next up, let's see what we've got here. So I know I definitely have more. So let's see here. Oh, remember the elemental system? This this was much more recent. I made this at the end of last year, but remember this? This was quite cool. So we obviously had the Aether, water, earth, the air, fire. Then we had ice, nature, darkness, and light. This was this was quite a cool little simulation. So this, yeah, this was cool. So it's got obviously um, um, air, which was a gas giant. We've got fire, water, the earth, nature, ice, the light, and dark. Yeah, a darkness. This was this was cool. I, I like that. That was a um, simulation that was quite recent, but it's still pretty cool. We won't check out all the colored solar systems. Uh, we'll check out the Halloween one briefly, though. Oh no, this was just our solar system with a Halloween theme. That, that was quite cool, actually. I like that one. Um, the old solar system. Now this this one is cool. I made a video on this a long time ago, but this is this simulation is basically if you don't know, um, back a long like time, like years, hundreds and hundreds of years ago. We thought that the Earth was the centre of the universe. So what I've done here is I made the Earth the centre of the universe, or the solar system at least. So we had the Earth, then we had the Moon. Then if we zoomed out, it, when they, it then went Mercury. So we originally thought Mercury was closer than everything else. Then it was Venus. Then it was the Sun. So this was a gas giant, but um, I couldn't have it as a star. So what I did was I just um, increased the temperature of it to make it brighter. So 4,000 degrees, for instance. So yeah, now it's a glowing Sun. So there's that. Then it was Mars, so the Sun was originally closer than Mars, we predicted. Then we had Jupiter, and then Saturn. See, this was quite a cool um, little simulation as well. It took a long time to get the Sun correct, but yeah, there's that. So, quite cool stuff. And I had to make the gas giants smaller. It was the only way to get them to work, because obviously we can't have a, a planet the size of Jupiter uh, in orbiting Earth. It would never work. So I had to make everything really small to orbit the Earth, because Earth's the centre of the universe. So, yeah, Earth had to be the biggest in gravity. So... Yeah, that was quite a cool one. If you haven't seen the video on that, I recommend you check it out. Then we've got the planet with the largest rings solar system here. So this this is going to be quite laggy, I think. So where is it? Oh, God. So there it is there. So the J4 or the J1407 um, system. Then it's got J4017b, which is the planet with the largest rings, to my knowledge anyway. So yeah, there it is there. Just look at this thing. It's awesome. <laughs> look how big those rings are. So that's... um. 40% the size of Earth's orbit, those rings. It's pretty crazy stuff. Okay, let's see what we've got next here, okay. We've still got the old original background that doesn't work anymore, sadly, so we won't check that out. We've also got the Rainbow Solar System. Oh, this one here. This is the 400 subscribers special thumbnail. I still have it. Oh, look how long it takes to load, because it's got so many rings in it. Yeah, this was the 400 subscribers special. That just shows how far we've came. And like I said in yesterday's video, um, which I'm actually pre-recording this, so I'm recording this the same day as yesterday's, it's just cannot thank you guys enough for 2,600, and we're like we're closing in on 300 as well. But this is just amazing. That like, I never thought I'd get a thousand. This was this was obviously the 400 sub special. I was so happy to get 400, but now we're like way bigger than that. I just can't yeah cannot thank you guys enough. It's just absolutely amazing. But yeah, look at this. Honestly, not it wasn't a bad thumbnail. I wasn't the best at making thumbnails back then, but yeah, it's still quite cool. Okay, let's see what we got next. I know I've definitely got some more. Simulations in there. What is SN? What's this? I don't even know what this is. What the heck has happened here? What is this? Well, it's also one of mine since it has Planet Nine here. No, I don't even know what that is. All uh, right, there's that. Now there should be one more system I missed. Let's see here. Do 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 do. 
What's this one here? Star. What's this? Oh, that's how I made Charlico have the orange trail. Yeah, I used Titan, I think, originally. So, yeah, there's that. Okay, see what we've got next. Um, uh, here it is. Yeah, here it is. Right. This system's called the Giuliano system. And this this is quite big. This is very big. It's got multiple stars in it. Like, look at this. This is quite a big, like, system. Well, it's got a lot of things here. So, yeah, this will be the last thing we check out in today's video. So, look at this. This is insane. This actually plays as well. So... Let's see here. Oh, so we've got a large gas giant here. So this would be a hot Jupiter then. So it's a hot Jupiter. Very large planet. It's losing material as well. So yeah, there's that. It's losing material. So there's our first object. Okay, next up we've got Kepler-58D. I don't even know if this is a randomly spawned object. But yeah, these. This system was definitely made before I could change coloured objects. I'm sure it was. Yeah. This option never existed. So yeah, we'll close it. So there's that. Oh, yeah, this I think this is one of my oldest. Kepler 49c is another um, rocky um, planet here with an atmosphere. Well, you can't even see the atmosphere hardly. It's probably because there's so many stars in this simulation. <laughs> yeah, so there's that. Uh, Kepler 7s. This is a gas giant. I've had that for quite a long time now. So there's that. Looking cool. Yeah, I think I made this in 2015 at some point. Kepler 77h. Oh, this is a giant Venus. Look at this thing. Yes, yeah, this, this is a huge Venus. So that's quite cool. Yes. 12 Jupiters, very large in size, almost the size of Jupiter itself. Completely dark here for some reason, probably because of all the stars in the simulation, but yeah, that's what it should look like. Okay, let's see what we got next. Then we've got Kepler-37S. So yeah, here's this one. I actually named this song. It's meant to be 37B. This is before I changed it. So this is just a giant Charon. So it's the smallest exoplanet ever we discovered, I believe. So there's that. Let's zoom out. Um, HD957. I don't even know if this is a real object or not, or if I named it. It could be a random spawn, so... There's that. Oh my god, look how weird everything is with the... Let's just go on studio mode just so we can see everything. So there it is. So very, pretty cold here, actually. So yeah, there's that one. Okay, let's zoom out. 10,000 radius as well. Um, well, here we've got a Titan. So that's just a relatively generic Titan. Then next up is Giuliano. Or Giuliano. So this is the simulation here. Or the planet here, sorry. So, this was the main star of the show, I guess. So, there's a rocky object here. And, yeah, it doesn't have any green land. This was made before um, Colours came out. I'm sure it was. So, it's got a ton of series. Oh, there's a series here. These are very close. An Onaski. I've never seen that name before. That's a random spawn, I'm guessing. So, Onaski. Right, so there's that one. Then you've got Nast, Nastu. So, there's that. All of in Giuliano there. And this um, little system there. So, let's go back to Trails. All right, let's see what we've got next. There's a lot of objects in here. Um, Kepler one one three seven B. Oh, this was um, this was the um, origins of my brown object hunt. Maybe I can't remember. So yeah, there's that one. It's like a yellowy brown atmosphere there. It's got a few objects orbiting. A ton of fragments there. Oh, those fragments may have um, begat. Oh, this was this was made before the Rouge limit update came in. That's why all this is destroyed. So yeah, that's just been destroyed. Let's actually just reload the simulation quick just to see what that was like. Uh, pause, 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 pause. There we go. So let's send my head back there. So let's zoom out. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Right. Um, so it's this one here. Let's have a quick look. See if um, that object does exist or if it's been destroyed. Okay, that's what it should be. So it should be like this before it got destroyed. So yeah, look at the size of that planet. Honestly, that's pretty big. So this is what it looked like before it was destroyed. So yeah, there is that. That that looks like a copper color because of the stars. It's all yeah. Having this many stars in a system, it really messes up the lighting. And then um, we got Bonax as the next object here. So there's that one. Okay, so let's zoom out. All right, then we got Kepler 22b. Oh, it's all the water's gone. What the heck? Yeah, there's no water here. It's all gone. Well, oh, it's all evaporated. That's pretty weird. Play? Is it going to reappear? Come on, zero degrees. Any, does that do anything? No water. Seriously? If we do this. Oh, this is bugged out or something. I don't know what's up with this. That's, that's strange. So... Yeah, there's Kepler 22b. Oh, no, the water is returning, it looks like. So, yeah, there's um, a large, rocky exoplanet. So, And that has a custom trail. That's one of the only objects in our in the game that's not in the solar system. It has a custom light blue trail. That is a really nice colour. Um, let's see here. We've got, then we've got HD 107L. So this is a very large object as well. It's, oh, my God. Look at all these moons. Jeez. So then we've got Munus P here. So there's that. Um, we, we won't go looking then, um, looking at them too detailed. Then we've got a purple atmosphere, frozen planet. Whoa, ooh, hang on, that colour looks interesting. Wait, do I have a planet of that colour? Whoa, that looks interesting. Flashlight. That colour looks very nice. I'm going to save that. Is, actually, is that, is that a new colour? 
Wait, let me just compare it to red and orange. Oh, um, yeah, so there's... That, that, oh, no, 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 wait, um, wrong one. Um, where is it hit? Lighter red. Red, and then orange. And then we'll, um, what we'll do to make this... Um, let's just do this. There we go. Okay, so freeze them all over. Is this a new colour? Let's have a look here. So let's um, just um, go to this menu here. Let's um, zoom out a bit. So look at the atmosphere colour. That's very similar to orange. It's just slightly different. It looks like it's a little darker than orange, but yeah, it's definitely not like the red ones. Yeah, but so that is a very, very close to orange, but I reckon it is slightly different, I think. So yeah, I'll save that for now. We'll, I'll get around to changing that up at some point. So let's, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do those. Yeah, I that, was a, that looks very similar to orange. Maybe slightly different. Okay, next up we've got this object here. So there's that. Actually, I'll just leave it open in the menu so we can just get a good look of it there so we don't have to zoom in. Then we've got... Um, I, I'm not even going to pronounce these. I can't. <laughs> I definitely didn't name these. So there's another red one there. Or an orange one. Yeah, these are all random names. So, um, yeah, there's that. Uh, next up, we've got um, this one here. So, yeah, there it is there. We've got um, this one. That's a small minor object. Then, last off, we have this object here. So, there, that's a, quite a big moon system there. Alright, next up we've got SAS2. It's another gas giant. Quite a nice colour there, like the red at the top there. So yeah, there's that. Let's hit play again. Alright, then we've got HD. Oh, how is this object hot? Oh, this must be a, near a brown wolf, that's why. So, 143 Earths, 600 degrees. Pretty crazy stuff, that. And then, yeah, that is it for this. So then if we zoom all the way out, we have this red dwarf orbiting very, very far out. Then we've got some more red dwarfs, and if we keep zooming out, yeah, you have all these stars as well, but yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing orbs in these. These are all just have. These are all just random stars. So pretty cool. So originally, I wanted to have all the stars glowing. Let's just have a bit more in the background. But since um, they don't, that doesn't work anymore. So you, these stars used to glow no matter how far away you are from them. But since their um, future updates have came out, if you get too far away from a star, they're not. They don't. They, you don't even see the star anymore. They're just so dim. You don't see them. So yeah, that's kind of annoying. So, yeah, it used to look something like this. Let me just get some random stars quickly. So, um, random, random star. So, it used to look something like this, I think. So, you could see the stars. Let's get some random known stars as well. So, there we go. So, it used to look something like this, where you could see all these other stars just chilling um, out of the solar system. Like this, like over there. You can you used to be able to see these random stars just glowing everywhere, which is quite cool. But it seems like it's all gone now. Yeah, that looks cool. Yeah, but since the updates have came out, you can't see stars when they're too far away anymore, which kind of sucks. But, yeah, that's that, I guess. So, yeah, tell me, what do you guys think of these systems? Because, yeah, which one did you like the most um, as well? I'm guessing it's probably going to be between Pascal and this Giuliano system, because the other ones are just quite simple. But, yeah, let us know, um, or let me know what um, you, a simulation you think is the best out of my old ones. And if you want me to do, like, another episode checking out old simulations, I can go in my deleted folder and check out all the ones I've deleted and not seen for years. So if you want me to do that, yeah, let me know in the comments if we could do like a little part two to this. But yeah, hopefully you guys all enjoy this video. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more. And like I said, let me know, should I do like a part two where we check out other old simulations of mine? Because this is quite cool. And it is very similar to checking out your solar systems videos, but it's just my simulations instead. So there's a lot of stuff here, as you can see. Oh, I think I actually, there's an earth here. I think that was orbiting in the sun. Yeah, it was. Just I just had a random earth orbit in the sun here for some reason. But yeah, that's that. So... There it is. We've got a random earth just chilling here. Oh my god, it's all buggy. So, yeah. Let me know what you think of these. I'm interested to see what you have. How, how good was my old self, or my younger self, at making simulations? Because obviously today I could make something way cooler than this, but... Yeah. Actually, that's something I'm planning to do, actually. I'm planning to make a new simulation. Actually, with Pascal again. With that planet. I'm going to make a new Pascal. Make a whole new simulation for it, I think. Yeah, let me know what you think of that. So... Yeah, that's everything I needed to say. So if you haven't already, subscribe. And yeah, it helps on the journey to 3,000. And yeah, make sure you have a great day, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.